Oh, it is a V-nickel. Sweet. Eighteen ninety four, baby. Well, I am at a location that has a lot of personal history for me. Um, beautiful town and just down the street from my house there used to be a store it's not here anymore it burned down it was a local grocery store a general store and everybody in the area would come to this store the store owner was well loved uh, by the community it was many many years ago it's changed hands now the original store burnt down there's a new new place here but the house is still here and the grounds are still here and the house dates back to 1812 yeah, you heard that right. 1812. So this is a really good area to hunt. Uh, and I spoke to the gentleman who owns it now, and he said, hey, knock yourself out. So here we go. I'm really hoping we'll turn up something. Can't promise anything, but we're going to try. History awaits. Let's go get it. So not all treasures are metal. Uh, sometimes you find something surprising. Doesn't have anything to do with metal detecting. Have a look. You see that? That is the shell of a garden snail. AKA a land snail. This would be a snail that doesn't live in the water. Not very uncommon. But still a nice find. I am getting a signal right here near that piece of uh, detritus. Uh, sounds like a quarter. That's probably all it is, is a quarter. But I'll dig it, let you know what it is. Yep, just a modern state quarter. Sure sounded good, but it ain't shiny. Just a modern quarter. Oh well. I'll be treasured. Well, that's a very strange experience. Uh, although I had permission to hunt the property, uh, apparently the owner rents the property out to people who live there. And one of them came home and saw me working in the yard and kind of flipped out. Like, really flipped out. Uh, I guess they've had some robberies or something. You know, all those robbers running around with metal detectors. Anyway, I mean, I explained to the guy that I had permission to be there, and he basically said he didn't care I, if I had permission, he wanted me to leave anyway. So, of course, I'm perfectly within my rights to remain, but what the hell. I don't want to give the guy a problem. He's obviously upset, so that's all right. We were pretty much done anyway, and I think we're going to move on to a different property. Um, although the ground here uh, was very active in the early 1800s, Looks like the property here has had some sort of fill, uh, maybe in the 40s, uh, based on what I'm finding in the soil. And of course, like all old properties, lots and lots of iron pollution. I did try behind the store. Uh, the owner also suggested I check back there. Uh, but there was a lot of detritus. Um, the original store that used to be here, of course, uh, burned down. Uh, oh, I think it was in the 1980s that it burned down. And there's still rubble in the soil. There's still burned brick and uh, other burn remains. Um, so there's a lot of uh, hot rocks, stuff that gives off signals. Uh, so it made it very, very hard to work back there. Plus there was a lot of bramble and I, I really didn't want to have to try to whack my way through it unless I, unless I thought I was really going to find something. So, But uh, let's have a look at what I did find so we can wrap this hunt up. Okay, unfortunately nothing old and no artifacts. Uh, this is what we did find. Uh, got that lovely um, uh, garden snail shell. Uh, we picked up uh, five modern quarters, four modern dimes, five modern pennies. Obviously that one is zinc, as you can tell from the corrosion. And we picked up a um, 
1980 Canadian penny, and the oldest coin of the day, a 1944 wheat penny. It's in pretty good shape underneath the dirt, uh, but that was the oldest coin we found, and it was the last find before that over hyper reactionary dude showed up and uh, told me to leave the land he doesn't own. <laughs> and we also found this pencil. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll keep that. Can always use a pencil. Anyway, that was it. Uh, can't wait anyway. Time to move on. I hope you enjoyed this hunt. Uh, I enjoyed sharing it with you, and I will see you on the next hunt. Well, hello. Uh, it's the weekend. It's raining off and on. Uh, I think this may be the only day I get out for a while. Might get out tomorrow. I, I have something lined up tomorrow. Hopefully it won't rain. And, uh, but unfortunately I don't have any permissions lined up. So today I'm just doing a tot lot run. I apologize. That's, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, just go on Google Maps, find a bunch of tot lots in some town somewhere, and drive off there and search those tot lots. This one over here has already been searched by other detectorists. Uh, and of course the way you tell is uh, detectors will always go close to the equipment, you know, the, the playground equipment, because that's where all the kids are spending most of their time. And they'll leave the big open areas of the tot lot and they won't even bother. Uh, so if you go near the equipment where the foot traffic is and you don't find anything and then you go out into the open and you suddenly find all kinds of coins, you know it's been hunted before. So this one's been hunted before. And uh, also I noticed that uh, near the equipment they were skipping all of the nickel signals because those are usually pull tabs or pencil tops um, and uh, which is a good sign because it means if there's a gold ring they'll have left it behind for you but uh, no gold rings today. Anyway I'll show you what I did find. Nothing too exciting. Um, so we got quite a bit of clad there. Uh, you got buck seventy-five and quarters, and then uh, four nickels. So that's a buck ninety-five plus a dime. That's two hundred five, and then nine more pennies. So two fourteen in uh, clad. Uh, somebody's dolly is missing its bottle. Found a bunch of these little colored beads. Uh, I do collect these. I uh, take them home and put them in jars. Uh, you'd be surprised at how many I have by now. Uh, I did go detecting yesterday. I don't have much to show for it. Just that penny and that uh, dollop of what looks like melted aluminum. Um, but uh, that was a private property and the homeowner actually found a Civil War bullet. A lucky guy. Uh, I found uh, uh, musket balls from that era, but never a bullet. So I was uh, both happy and a little envious for the guy. I didn't get any footage, unfortunately, but I, I, he did upload a picture of it to a local Facebook group, so I'll snag a copy of that picture and inset it here just so that you can see the bullet we found, he found. I uh, loaned him my other detector, showed him how to use it. He had a great time. I think he's going to be getting into the hobby for sure. He seemed to have a blast. So, but uh, old Chuck didn't really find anything. Uh, so, so that's tot lot number one. Uh, I'd, I'd show you, but the name of the town is right there, and I don't want to give it away. Um, so I have uh, three more lined up. I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but uh, I'm going to try. Clad awaits. There's no history waiting. <laughs> Let's hope for jewelry. Well, I'm at location number three. Uh, turned out that number two had been paved. There were no wood chips anymore, so I skipped that one, came here, and found almost nothing, unfortunately. Uh, I got 16 cents and clad a couple little beads in this little elephant charm. Uh, it's not made of anything precious. It rings up like, uh, let's see if I can darken this for you. There we go. It rings up like, uh, nickel. So, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's made of anything precious. It certainly isn't marked. Um, but that's it. Alright, on to the next location. Yikes. Looks like the last one is also paved. Who paves a tot lot? Kid's gonna fall on the asphalt and break their teeth. Oh man, whatever. Uh, I guess that's it. I'm getting tired anyway, and I'm not finding anything today. It's too bad. But life's just been crazy. Haven't really been able to line anything up. I do have something lined up tomorrow. 
the house isn't old, but the land that it, it abuts is very old. Uh, so I believe that land was originally part of the other property, and that property dates back to the 1830s, so... I think we might, uh, 1870s, excuse me. I think we might score something. Uh, so, and then I do have a number of other possibilities in the wings, but it looks like it's going to rain for the next two weeks. So I don't know if I'm going to get to them. You may get stuck watching my coin roll hunting videos from the winter. I'm sorry. Ah, there we go. There's an old King George penny, see? This looks good, doesn't he? That's that's in really nice shape. Alright, so let's check the date. 1951. Um, I did also shoot a segment um, many months ago about how I photograph and process finds. This Canon's ID has a 100mm macro lens on it. 2.8 aperture. And because it's a macro lens, it is meant for very close focusing, and it'll shoot nice. One click. There it goes, the preview shows up here. It looks good. Paste settings. That will paste in that white balancing on the lower left hand picture there to all the other pictures. And voila, they are all color corrected now, or at least white balanced. All right. So, now let's have a look. There's our lovely little quarter. That also might be kind of dull, but I may end up having to pull it out of the mothballs so that you uh, have something to watch. Anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next hunt.